Leroy Sané, of course, didn't go to the World Cup, but he can't get in the Manchester City team. Anymore. Can't even get in their 18. I know you are pretty close to him and to Pep Guardiola. What, what's your reading of that situation? Well, first of all, it vindicates Joachim Löw's decision to a point, because if you read between the lines, I think there was a concern with Leroy Sané's uh, adaptation and his uh, professionalism, perhaps. The fact that Manchester City were very happy for that message to come out, that he was dropped for that reason, even though Guardiola himself played it down, shows that perhaps this is not an easy player to, to, to integrate, that this is someone who is a little bit... Uh, overly confident at times, still very young, still growing as a personality off the pitch. But on the pitch, I think Germany still very much need him, and so do City. So I think this is a short-lived absence for City, um, a warning for him. Uh, Guardiola has done this with many players before, not always publicly, but I remember Tony Kroos even being dropped for, for Bayern at one point because... Guardiola, who's a stickler for perfection, even in training, was not happy with his performances. So I don't think it's going to have any long-term impact on him uh, at club level. But certainly, I think, makes maybe Löw's decision a little bit more understandable uh, in retrospect. Well, whoa, 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 Raph. Raph <laughs> no, no, let, let's just go back here. There is no vindication whatsoever for Yogi Love leaving one of the most talented informed players at that time out of the German squad. Now, we can talk about uh, Pep Guardiola leaving him out of the side of the squad at the start of this season, but there was no sign of that, no sign of that whatsoever as they rumped to 100 points plus in the Premier League last year. No, no, you're absolutely right. And vindication is not the word I would use. What I would say is that I think people perhaps understand it a little bit more. For footballing reasons, I would have always taken him. Uh, I made that very clear. I would have um, looked beyond that. Uh, but Lou felt he couldn't for whatever reason. The lesson of the World Cup, I think, is both. You need players like mm -hmm. him, but at the same time, you need the dressing room harmony and togetherness that even without Leroy Sané wasn't quite there for this Germany team. So you can read a lot into it. But what I'm just saying is some of the stuff that we heard from Löw and reading between the lines that is a little bit difficult with him and perhaps taking him to the World Cup without him being an automatic starter... Um, I think comes in a new light. I don't think it vindicates the decision at all. I just think it makes it a little bit un more understandable. Look, I, I think we're unanimous in, 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 in our belief that leaving Leroy Sané out of the World Cup squad was, was a ridiculous decision. We thought so then, thought so during the World Cup, and, and you think so now. My question is, going into the World Cup, Leroy Sané is playing for Manchester City. He doesn't make your squad. Know that he isn't. He is in the squad. And it's almost as though it, there's a hope from Yogi Love here, that, that, that Leroy Sané fails. And he can look back and say, well, this is why I didn't take him. All that being said, I think Yogi no, Love is under an incredible amount of pressure and, and should be. How he got away seemingly scot-free after the World Cup is, is simply beyond me. Right. All, all the pressure got put on, on, on Mesut Ozil. I, I, I think Yogi Love had a lot to answer for and, and still hasn't. Mm. Raf. No, I completely agree uh, with Shaq on the, on the second part of the statement. I think Löw got off lucky. Of course, he won the World Cup and he's done pretty well before that. So he had a lot of credit in the bank. There, plus, there was not really the viable alternative. There was no Klopp, there was no Tuchel. Um, no one really that had lots of clamour behind him to, to take the job away from Löw. I disagree with you a little bit on the Man City situation. The nomination would have been made long before Guardiola decided to drop him for the last game on Saturday. So I don't think these things are at all connected. Uh, Löw was ma made it very clear from the beginning that he was always going to be in the squad come September, uh, even when he left him out. And I believe him in that. I think they see him as the future. The question is... Will the future start against France? I'm not so sure because in Royce and Müller, he still has these big players ahead of him. He'll do really well to get into this team.